Dear students, we are solving problems under the topic non-linear partial differential equations. Now here we are going to find the complete integral of the given PDE by using Charpitz method. First of all, we shall write the auxiliary equation of Charpitz method and any equation of the form f of p comma q comma x comma y comma z is equal to 0 is solved by using Charpitz method. Now first of all we shall write the auxiliary equations of Charpitz method. The auxiliary equations are given by this equation which is also known as Charpitz equation. Now in order to find this equation first of all we shall consider the given partial differential equation as f. So when we bring this pqxy to the other side we get z square minus pqxy is equal to 0 and that will be taken as f. So therefore f is equal to z square minus pqxy which is equal to 0. So this is marked as Roman letter equation 1. Since the ratios we are taking as numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, using this, we can find what is fp, fq, fx, fz and fy. So, first we will find fp. So, fp is the partial differentiation of f with respect to p and that is equal to, this becomes 0. And here it will be minus, because we are differentiating with respect to p, this uh, p will become 1. And so, we will be left out with minus qxy. In a similar way, next is fq. So, fq is equal to where differentiation of f partially with respect to q and this becomes 0 and here we will have minus pxy. Next is fx, partial differentiation of f with respect to x. So, again this becomes 0 and here minus pqy we will have. So, minus pqy. Then we will we have to find partial differentiation of f with respect to y. So again this becomes 0 and uh, this one partial differentiation with respect to y will be minus pqx. And finally we have to find fz which is partial differentiation of f with respect to z and here it is 2z. So 2z and this becomes 0. So these are uh, so we have found found the first derivatives of f with respect to p, q, x, y and z. Now we shall substitute this in the auxiliary equation. So after substituting all this in the auxiliary equation, we get these equations which can be simplified further dx by minus q, x, y. We will write as it is, is equal to dy by minus p, x, y is equal to, now if you see here, P is common in these two terms and also we could see that uh, it is the same actually. So, D is Z by to a minus twice P Q X Y and that is equal to D P divided by and in this term P is common in both the terms and so it can be taken out. So, when P is taken out and this negative sign is multiplied inside. So, we get P multiplied with so this becomes positive and this becomes negative. So, uh, we have taken P outside. So, QY will be left out minus here we will have 2Z. In a similar manner, this is equal to DQ divided by and this minus also we will take inside and Q is common. So, that can be taken out. So, Q multiplied with. So, when this negative sign is multiplied inside, this term becomes positive and so we get PX and here we have negative because this negative sign is multiplied inside. So, negative 2z because we have z over here and so this is what we obtain. Now, further rewriting this, what we will get is, this is, this can be rewritten as dx by x. So, this x which is in the denominator, I am writing it separately as a denominator of dx divided by minus qy. I am doing this for convenience. That is equal to, similarly here I can write this dy by y divided by minus px and then uh, is equal to this comes as it is so d is z by minus 2 p q x y and then we have 
uh, here we can write this as dp by p divided by uh, qy minus 2z and here we can write dq by q divided by the left out term in the bracket is px minus 2z now we can mark these ratios as this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the these are the five ratios so uh, we are going to do some simplification in this so in these ratios we are going to make uh, changes like a 2 minus 1 that is ratio 2 minus 1 which will also be equal to ratio 4 minus 5 so this is by comparing the ratios we are uh, doing this so 2 minus 1 will be equal to 4 minus 5 so I have written that here so when we do 2 minus 1 what we will get if you see here 2 minus 1 numerator will be dy by y minus dx by x so let us write that so dy by y minus dx by x divided by so in the denominator it will be 2 minus 1 so minus px minus of minus becomes plus qy so minus px plus qy so minus px plus qy is equal to next is 4 minus 5 so what is 4 here dp by p minus dq by q in the numerator so it will be dp by p minus dq by q in the numerator and in the denominator here we have qy minus 2z so i will write that qy minus 2z and then here we have px minus 2z so minus px minus of px minus 2z so minus px minus 2z we have minus into minus will become plus 2z so that these two gets cancelled and so we get dy by y minus dx by x the whole divided by this can be written as qy minus px is equal to dp by p minus dq by q divided by here also qy minus px we have so both the denominators gets cancelled and from this what we obtain dy by y minus dx by x is equal to dp by p minus dq by q so we can now integrate on both the sides so when we integrate uh, each terms separately what do we get what is integral dy by y it is log y minus integral dx by x is log x is equal to on the right integral dp by p so it will be log p minus integral dq by q so it is log q plus a constant of integration which can be log c taking these two terms to the left it will be log y minus log x and when this comes to the other side minus log p plus log q is equal to logarithm of c so now since these uh, two terms have positive sign we can write it together as log y plus log q minus of these two terms so both have minus sign in common so i have written it like this and so it can be written as log x plus log p in the bracket is equal to logarithm of c and so this is log y plus log q which can be written as log y q minus log x plus log p can be written as logarithm of x p is equal to log log c and so now again log a minus log b it is of that form so it will be logarithm of a by b so here we have y q divided by x p is equal to log c so from this we can write y q by x p is equal to c so uh, taking all the other terms that is from this we can write y q is equal to x p multiplied with c so from this what will be p equal to taking this uh, x c to the other side so it will be y q by 
xc so this is the value of p the c which is a constant is a denominator that is 1 by c we, since it is a constant we can write it write it as c itself so c uh, multiplied with y q divided by x so therefore the value of p is equal to c y q divided by x so this is the value of p now we shall take this value of p and substitute in this equation and find the value of q so we have from the given question that z squared is equal to p q x y so z square will be equal to just now we have obtained the value of p to be c multiplied with y q divided by x multiplied with q x y so x and x gets cancelled so z square will be c y square q square so from this we obtain q square to be equal to z square divided by c y square so therefore the value of q will be equal to square root of z square divided by c y square and so that is equal to removing the square root of for this term it becomes z divided by square root of c and here we will be having y since square root of y square is y and this can be written as q is equal to this 1 by square root of c is again a constant so i am replacing it by a constant a so a multiplied with z by y so this is the value of q where this value of a we have taken as 1 by square root of c so taking uh, replacing 1 by square root of c by a we get q to be equal to a constant a multiplied with z by y so therefore we have obtained the value of p and the value of q as well but we see that the value of p still has q in it that is p is equal to what c multiplied with q p divided by x now we shall substitute this q over here so what we will get substituting that c multiplied with q is uh, a z by y okay and multiplied with uh, here we have i mean uh, p is actually c q y okay so y multiply uh, divided by x so c multiplied with q is a z by y multiplied with y by x so this x i have written here so now if you see this y and y gets cancelled and finally we get the value of p to be equal to c multiplied with a z divided by x now what is this c c is, from this we get square root of c to be equal to 1 by a squaring on both the sides we get c to be equal to 1 by a square so this value of c we shall substitute over here for c so that will be equal to c is 1 by a square multiplied with a z by x so this a and this a gets cancelled and so we get z divided by a x so therefore the value of p is equal to z divided by a x so we have the value of p as z divided by a x and the value of q as a multiplied with z by y we shall now substitute these two values in we know that dz is equal to is equal to p dx plus q dy the value of p we have obtained as z by a x so we shall substitute that so do d z is equal to z by a x d x plus q is equal to a z by y so we have here so a z by y so that we will substitute so a is z divided by y into d y now uh, we can see that z is common in both these terms so d z is equal to z multiplied with 1 by a d x by x plus a multiplied with d y by y so this z when we bring it to the left it becomes d is z by z is equal to 1 by a dx by x plus a multiplied with dy by y now we shall integrate on both the sides so when we integrate we get what is integral d is z by z it is log z is equal to 1 by a integral dx by x is log x 
plus a multiplied with integral dy by y which is log y plus a constant of integration we will have which will be taken as log b. Now we shall bring these two terms to the left. So we get log z minus 1 by a log x minus a log y is equal to log b. Now we can rewrite this as log z is equal to uh, I mean log x log z minus log x to the power 1 by a by using uh, the concept that a log b can be written as log b to the power a. So using this concept we have written it in this manner. Similarly here also minus log y to the power a is equal to log b. Now uh, we, can, we can rewrite it as log z divided by here we can write x to the power 1 by a multiplied with y to the power a is equal to log b. So since both uh, left and right hand side have logarithm in them. So we get uh, z divided by 1 by x to the power 1 by a multiplied with y power a is equal to b. From which we obtain z to be equal to b multiplied with x power 1 by a y to the power a. So this is the required complete solution. So kindly follow the next video lectures under this topic. Thank you.